Hi, this is Arielle Zellison with your daily news report on Channel 98. So today on Channel 98, we're going to be talking about Booth's disappearance, his reappearance, and his thought about to be death on April 16th, 1865. But the real question is, is did it really happen? Was it Booth's body that was shot through the neck, through the spinal cord, and later buried under a warehouse. Find out today. So the 12 day chase began when Booth decided that he was done with the president and he would really enjoy to have the Confederate States of America. So he decided to go off on a limb and at first it was a kidnap plan. It was a it was a plan to kidnap President Lincoln. But at the end of the day, it turned out to be an assassination that caught the attention of the entire country. Booth ran away and was, well, safe, if you want to call it, for a good 12 days until the cavalry men found him. Well, surprise, surprise, when the cavalry men found Booth, it wasn't doing so well, considering the fact that he had broken his leg, most likely from falling, jumping off the stage, and running to save his own life. But little did Booth know that that was the tragic thing that was going to slow him down and ultimately lead to his death. About the death. So, as it was rightfully known, Booth was shot in the back of the neck by one of the cavalry men soldiers, he was told not to fire, but received a beautiful image from God telling him that it was okay and that he should do it anyway. So he did. He didn't get punished for it. But it was a similar wound to Lincoln's, kind of ironic, but Booth did pass away, did he? Well, some people say the conspiracy theory states that he actually didn't die, and his family members can prove that he was still alive well into the 19, well into 1900s. My conspiracy theory states that Booth was kind of, he knew what was going to happen. So, when they fired the bullet, he made a very convincing appearance that he had been shot. And when they took him away, one of the men had to be with him on this. But they took him and he got out of it and replaced the, the dead body with a real dead body. And Booth got away, snuck away, got health care made it to live, but that seems all too, <coughs> I'm dying, yeah. blah, 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 blah. but it seems that that wouldn't be possible with all the eyes watching, well that's conspiracy theory one, for me anyway, conspiracy theory two, Booth could have actually not been shot, he could have dug a hole, in the back of the barn, crawled his way out, and ran on one leg for life. I don't know how far it got him, far enough to get medical health care and get his leg re repaired, and there must have been somebody else in the barn that was shot. To make a convincing look that Booth had been, maybe an identical look-alike, somebody Booth could have paid, he was a wealthy actor, and he knew a lot of people. So he could have gotten anybody to be, hey, I'll pay you this much if you just stand right here for me for an hour and a half and act like me. So two conspiracy theories later, we kind of have an idea that maybe Booth didn't die right when the cavalryman shot. But I'm going to leave you with that mystery. Thanks for watching Channel 98. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>